Thank you. Thank you so much for the very kind um, introduction, Jim. I'm so happy that I made it here early enough to meet all the fellows in Charlottesville. Thank you so much for the light that you shared with us this evening. The joy, the happiness has been most uplifting. And I'm sure that I speak for everyone in this room. Just listening to you all call yourselves by your nicknames and just seeing the fellowship that you enjoy so much has been a blessing this evening. Being in this room tonight and spending most of the morning at the Africa Ideas Festival has been quite nostalgic. Nine years ago, I was participating in the same event. In fact, I was sitting where you are sitting as a member of President Barack Obama's inaugural Young African Leaders Initiative Court. Nine years after, it is an immense privilege, a great honor to return to serve in the same organization that shaped my leadership journey. But tonight is not about me. I have so much time to talk about me in the future. Tonight is about you. Every one of the 25 fellows who have graced us with their presence for the past six weeks. On behalf of the presidential precinct, congratulations on participating and concluding the 2023 Mandela Fellowship for Young African Leaders. Listening to you all this morning was a reminder of how the African continent is blessed with talent, youth, and vibrant energy. Each of you is representative of the African dream. And you may ask, what is the African dream? You all mentioned similar vision for strong institutions, prosperous nations, eradication of poverty and violence, female empowerment, and equal access to human rights. Chess mentioned earlier that these identical ideals that bind you together is stronger than what separates you. So, as you return home, this bond and shared dreams should not die. The laughter you shared tonight should not disappear. Your fellowship should not evaporate. On our part, the presidential precinct is committed to continue to support you on your journey. And even though this program has come to an end, our support for you continues. At the presidential precinct, 2023 has been a transition year. And as fall approaches, we are starting a strategic planning process that will deliver bigger, better, and more impactful results. I'm not going to drop any quotes tonight. I think it was Busi that said earlier this morning that by now we should be tired of quotes from Mandela, Thomas Jefferson, and all the prominent people who have died a long time ago. And we should be producing work that other people can quote. So I'm going to follow Bussi's advice. But I'm going to leave you with one word tonight. And that word is, or that sentence is, do not fold. Your journeys will be difficult, extremely strenuous, very bumpy. But don't give up. You are permitted to rest. You are permitted to pause. You are permitted to re-strategize. You are permitted to rethink, but you are not permitted to fold. There's still so much work to be done. Our continent needs you, and our world needs you. Congratulations on all you've achieved, and the bright futures are ahead of you. I wish you the very best today and always. Do have a safe journey back home. Thank you.